I think Afghanistan's, there's multiple concerns there. There's multiple challenges. I think force structure, the amount of troops in Afghanistan, uh, is a very important part of that. I think we made a very big mistake in the last couple of years having uh, brought the troop level down as far as we've had, we have. Uh, it did a couple things. Number one, it did not allow uh, the pushback of the Taliban forces. It allowed the Taliban uh, to gain Afghanistan ground control. Uh, it didn't allow for some sufficient embedding within uh, Afghan National Army forces, and so we've, we've, we've paid that price. So I think more troops is going to be extremely important, not just from the United States, but from NATO. Uh, but on top of that, we need to continue to political reconciliation in Afghanistan. We have to continue to try to get a better economy, even though that's a challenge with the security environment. And we have to continue the policies of the administration of trying to make Afghanistan less corrupt, because people lose faith. Uh, in their government when there's corruption. And so it's a broad approach, but I think the, more troops is the beginning of forcing reconciliation and forcing an end to this war. But it is probably going to continue for a while. For the administration, a lot of general support increase in troops. At the same time, a lot of political figures, they are against it. They didn't want to spend more money in Afghanistan. They don't want to send troops there. And also Trump doesn't seem to talk or support or talk a lot about Afghanistan, especially also I don't, it doesn't seem like he's supporting nation building. What do you think, what is this strategy they're looking at for Afghanistan? Nobody should have any doubt that I think, uh, frankly, Donald Trump will be way better for Afghanistan than Barack Obama was. Uh, Barack Obama, had basically as quick as he could, tried to get out while maintaining some kind of a presence. He never talked about Afghanistan. I can't remember him talking about it more than one or two times in eight years as president. So I think you're going to see President Trump and his administration look at options. Uh, look, his focus right now is largely on ISIS. ISIS and Daesh is a huge problem. Uh, but if Afghanistan falls and becomes Afghanistan pre-9-11 again, um, it will be a safe haven for ISIS and Daesh, as we already see those elements there now. Uh, so I think you will see the administration hopefully double down, show our partnership. And the thing the American people need to realize is, you know, this is not a high-grade war for us. It is for the, the people of Afghanistan, but our involvement is, is pretty light in comparison. Uh, but lastly, if the Taliban have any doubt or our enemies have any doubt of America's staying power, uh, we've been in Afghanistan for 16 years and we're not going anywhere until this thing's over. If anybody believes there's just no interest in Afghanistan, uh, I think you're, you're forgetting the service of the thousands of people that are there every day. Um, we continue to do airstrikes every day. We work with the Afghan police and military, work with the Afghan government to build it. Uh, so I think there's no lack of interest in doing the right thing there. But we have multiple challenges around the world. And so if the people of Afghanistan, if any of them take the lack of us talking about it as a lack of interest, that's wrong. It's just the fact we've been in Afghanistan for 16 years, so people are almost kind of used to it now. President Ashraf Ghani is not pro-support of increase in troops or combat role in Afghanistan. Instead, they are looking for supporting Afghanistan army. Do you think Afghan army is... Uh, I mean, is strong enough to fight on their own against Taliban and ISIS and other insurgents in the region? The army of Afghanistan is up to way better standards than it has been. Uh, we have very high standards for our military. So is the Afghan military at American standards? No. No other military is at American standards. Uh, we understand that, you know, even when we deal with fighting Daesh in Iraq, uh, it takes American involvement to stiffen the spine of the Iraqi military and to give direction. We've been doing this for a very long time, and we're frankly pretty good at warfare. Um, so I think when it comes to Afghanistan, we're going to always need to continue to be involved for the near future. Um, and look, the Afghan military have been heroes in this. They are losing a lot of people every month, too many people, uh, but they are continuing to engage the Taliban where necessary, and we're going to be there with NATO to help them. Let's talk about Pakistan. Usually Pakistan is showing that they're supporting NATO cooperation or work in Afghanistan. At the same time, it's like a safe haven for a lot of insurgents. Do you think the new administration can, uh, will adopt a tougher stand, especially when it comes to safe haven of insurgents in Pakistan? How do you deal with Pakistan? Look, Pakistan needs the money we give them. That is a uh, carrot and a stick. So it is something that we can use to try to force behavior. I think to some extent the president needs to loosen up the rules of engagement against Taliban in Pakistan, uh, cross-border attacks and strikes. 
uh, intelligence gathering missions. So I think we need to make it clear to the government of Pakistan that if in fact they will not go after the Taliban themselves, we will. And there's not much they can do about it in return. So. This is the, the Russian influence and interference in Kyrgyzstan and Afghanistan. So do you think Russia's whatever their attitude, whatever they're doing in Afghanistan will make it difficult for US and NATO forces to end the war in Afghanistan? And well, I don't, think it's, I don't think it's helpful. Um, you know, the thing we need to keep in mind is the Russian military and the Russian economy is the size of Italy. So it's not America's equal. It doesn't even uh, stand next to us on the, on the battlefield of, of, of equals because they are a, a declining country that relies basically simply on oil revenue. But they can make life a little difficult and they have sought to do that. Uh, they have a very bad history in Afghanistan as the Afghan people know. And uh, it's not surprising that they're seeking to get involved again. Uh, we will not let that deter us. And I think the Afghan people uh, should actually see Russian involvement in Afghanistan and help solidify their political will uh, to get this right, to understand that you know you need as much national unity as possible. You need to push back against the Taliban continually, push back against Daesh and Russian involvement in Afghanistan. Because again, the history of Russia and Afghanistan brings some very painful memories forward.